between two super featherweight youngsters who have already provided their fair share of excitement on undercards up and down the country. Liverpool's Jamie McKeever here in the white trunks, the more technically skilled East Anglia's Sebastian Hart, a raw, brave slugger. Both need a win, and Spencer Oliver, they'll be going all out for that. Well, we know Sebastian Hart loves to get into a brawl. McKeever, if he boxes the right tactics, should stay on the outside, but he can be joining as well. Swinging hooks from Hart early on as McKeever just tries to get the range with his jab. But he's got to be careful. There's a left hook that flattened Lee Armstrong, I remember, a year or so ago. And he's also had James Rooney on the floor, Sebastian Hart, but can be outboxed. Well, Hart, not the most technical, as we've seen, not much amateur experience. And coming forward here, just swinging slugging away McIver looks technically much more solid blazing his way forward and walking into a classy uppercut from the man who calls himself Jammer Jamie McIver from Birkenhead plenty of support here and some marking already under the left eye of Hart who's being picked off nicely and again, Hart just coming forward, really swinging those shots. Not a lot of thought going in, not much in the way of defence. McKeever just doing nice on the end of that jab. Yes, he's swinging and hoping. Hart. And he's being outthought, outmoved, and outsped by the young Liverpudlian. Right hand from Hart, but. Keeper got his gloves up well. He was a youthful junior amateur, and as Spencer was saying, part of little amateur experience. But he's always brave, isn't he, Sebastian Hart? Well, we've seen him on a number of occasions. You've already mentioned the fight against the Armstrong, a mile behind on points, but pulled out that big left hook. That's what McKeever's got to be careful of here. It's the relentless aggression against the box fighter. Good clash of styles. We thought this would be interesting. And the opener has proved just that. But a good right hand from Jamie McKeever. And Hart walked into that. And he's having to take a mandatory count. He's asked to walk forward. He's slow to do, but the bell saves him. And a great first round. Yeah, great first round there for McKeever. We'll nick that one on a 10-8. Box well on the end of the jab. Sebastian Hart coming forward. Not a lot of head movement, hands quite low. And getting caught, and it's there, mate, to pay the price. That big right hand. Flush on the button. Excellent shot. Done well to get up from that. The bell came in the nick of time. Yes, he was walking in so much, Sebastian Hart, through that first round that he left his chin exposed and McKeever found the punch to floor him. And have a look at that. Headshots landed. McKeever to Hart. Seven times as many. Here's the second round in the nine stone four super featherweight division. The left of your screen, Jamie McKeever, the 22-year-old from Birkenhead, up against the raw, rude, brave, aggressive Sebastian Hart, who was floored in the first round and looks in danger of getting himself into trouble again. He just wades forward with no defense. Again, yeah, Hart coming forward, the hands very low, getting caught by two or three big left hooks. Just buckling at the knees again with the left hook. He's got Come to pick up. those hands up. He's coming forward. He's got that type of style. He needs those hands high. He's carrying them far too low. And McKeever making him pay the price. Despite only two knockouts on the heart slate, he knows that one big looping shot could turn things around, as it did against Lee Armstrong, the man that McKeever earned a draw against.
Good hooks to the body there. He's just doing the right thing here, Machiba, tucking up nice and tight, great, keeping great. nice and solid, heart not getting fucked through too much. Good jab from Akiba, followed by the right hand. And he's boxing very well now, the Liverpoolian, and heart's in danger of being stopped here, unless he throws something back and gets his hands up. Yeah, Makiba landing a big left hook at there, and again with the left hook, heart and very unsteady legs. Both coming off defeats. McKeever in three rounds to Craig Doherty, the Scottish prospect. And Hart having lost his last three and being inactive. And it's showing here the engine class and skill of Jamie McKeever is proving too much at the moment. Hart just seems to be breathing very heavily. Again with the jab from McKeever, nice boxing. Hands nice and tight, moving the head well. Sebastian Hart really not got an answer at the moment. This is all predictable from Hart. Again, wielding in the left and right hooks, but the better work coming from McKeever. Again, a big left hook from McKeever. Every time he lands that shot, you just see Hart's legs buckle. As he keeps that right arm so very low, Sebastian Hart. Look where the gloves are. He seems to be breathing heavy again with the hook. Must keep the hands up as he does. Blood from the nose of Sebastian Hart. He's being outreached and outboxed. Kiva just doing the right thing, staying on the outside, staying nice and tight. Just wild with the hook there to finish the round. No knockdown. Definitely another one to Jamie McKeever. Final, Final round. We thought it would be entertaining. It hasn't let us down. Jamie McKeever well on top in the white trunks. And Wisbeach's Sebastian Hart has been aiming for a knockout punch all the way through. The Spencer has it there. He needs that one punch more than he's ever had. Yeah, I've got him a mile behind on points, Hart. He's come out firing in this round. Akiva doing the right thing again by keeping nice and tight. Just got to keep himself tucked up and stick to his skills for another two and a half minutes. And it should be a comeback victory. And his 14th professional outing. That's from team had big hopes for Jamie McKeever. And he must get back to winning ways. Can't be sloppy here. It's all the same from Hart, though. Hart's left eye swelling up quite badly now. Looks to be breathing quite heavily from the mouth. The mouth's come open. There's blood to the left eye, but it won't stop him marching forward. Steam rolling fashion as he does. But too many times as he walked into the shots from the Cavendish Wirral Amateur. Jamie McKeever, now a professional for three and a half years. And he's just been too good. Again with the right hand there, McKeever. Hart, no head movement at all. Now, there's no bobbing and weaving which go with the open hook style of Sebastian Hart. And he's going to come unstuck again and again against the boxers of better pedigree. The problem with Sebastian is he comes forward bobbing and weaving, but the hands are so very low. And he's caught every time. Look at the blood from the nose, too. It's brave and resilient. And you've got to take your hat off to him for the amount he tries in there, Sebastian Hart. Every one he really loads up on. But I'm afraid it's not been good enough in the last three, and it's not here. Despite the cut on the right eye of Jamie McKeever, he should see this home. Again, McKeever getting through with that right hand. But there's That's, that the That's the answer. The equaliser from Sebastian Hart. Just going to take one shot. Is McKeever going to make it? He's up at eight. Has 
Hart got time to finish it off. He hasn't, and Jamie McKeever survives to the final bell. Well, that's what you get with Sebastian Hart. You have four rounds where he looks ineffective. Suddenly, boom, out comes the big wielding hook. But unfortunately, too little, too late. Yeah, very unfortunate there for Sebastian Hart. We were talking about that left hook right the way through the contest. Didn't look like he was getting anywhere near close to landing it. Bam. Just a little too much too late. Here if we take a look at it. Bam on the side of the head. And if there had been another 30 seconds in that round, it may have been a different story. McKeever just took his foot off the pedal, hadn't he? And let his guard down. Well, he just sensed that he was in control. He was boxing nicely behind the jab, getting through with the occasional right hand. And just switched off for that split second. He'd, he'd have learnt a valuable lesson there, McKeever. One knockdown apiece. And a good four-rounder. The success rate all for McKeever, landing almost double. But, well, well, well. Sebastian Hart was oh so close to a game. Turning up the apple cart, but he didn't. Jamie McKeever gets his 10th win in 14 and it's success on home soil for the liverpool lad ladies and gentlemen after four rounds of boxing referee chris kelly has scored the contest for hart 37 points for makiva 38 points your winner from birkenhead jamie Akiva.